Hare Krishna A very warm greetings to the beautiful hearts who are listening to Shri Krishna stories Today's story is Who is the father of sin Dear devotees do you know the answer Let's get into the story which answers for the question who is the father of the sin King Manivarman suddenly had a suspicion who is the father of the sin He treated Pandit Anand who was in the palace like his friend to him he asked who is the father of sin you have to say the right answer Pandit Anand was in great confusion who created sin who is said to be the father of sin seeing the confusion on his face king manivarman said well do not answer this immediately please reply within a week but there is an appropriate punishment for not giving the right answer he warned pandit anand returned home and flipped through all the textbooks he knew he couldn't find the correct answer he asked his known friends they pursed their lips days passed by he was walking along the river bank in town with a sad face must reply by tomorrow hmm seeing the confusion on his face a woman called him what pandit you will always be excited today you are with sad face what is the matter she asked pandit anand lamented I do not know who is the father of sin. Ha, huh, don't you know this? I know, she said lightly. Pandit was shocked that she was so confident about the answer, so he asked her, "Please tell me the correct answer," pleaded Pandit Anand. "I will say, but not here. Coming to my house, I will give you a gold coin to get there." She gave him a gold coin. Pandit Anand who bought it reassured himself that he could make up his mind to do so reaching the women's house pandit anand said hmm tell me the answer now she said you can't came sit in my house and ask for an answer let's eat some tasty meat in the mouth she said don't sit idly by i will give you a hundred gold coins i will also give you a diamond garland she said Pandit Anand in his mind well well that's the big penance to be made he calmed his mind and sat down at her house the moment i was about to take a piece of meat in my hand and put it in my mouth the woman suddenly stood up she pushed the pandit away and gave a slap on his cheek pandit anand was struck by the woman said pandit do you know the answer the father of sin is desire greed do you know the answer women's voice went deep into the pandit's mind he gained wisdom in an instant he threw away all the gold coins in his hand i got anand ran along the road shouting the answer is known the answer is known the pandit went straight to the palace and met the king people crowd had also increased Sorry the answer is known I know who is the father of sin is sorry give me the punishment i deserve i agree to disgraceful thing even though i was a pandit make me a nationalist aha is desire the father of sin greed the correct answer the king shouted happily and hugged pandit as the friend leaving the country i will never agree to that I feel that wisdom had come to you. You are my guru from this moment on. You are a worthy guide to me who can never go the wrong way one day. Accept me as a disciple said the king. The king bowed to Pandit Anand. Yes, the father of sin is greed. Duryodhana's greed is the reason for Bharata war. Let's avoid greed. Let's reach the lotus feet of supreme lord. So dear devotees from the above story we come to know the father of sin is greed and desire let's give up greed and desire thank you for listening to the story sarvam shri krishna punam